fits you here with the NES Mini. Uh, the hack that was released about a week or so ago has a new version that was just released yesterday, version 2.10. The Hitachi Hakuchi. Still don't know how to fucking say it, but oh well. Uh, as you can see here, 1943, the Battle of Midway wasn't showing up 1943, so that's been fixed. Uh, Games that had J in it now actually shows J in the uh, headers. Some other cool features have been implemented in. Uh, let's just jump into a game. So instead of actually having to go to the console, now you have a button combination reset. So you just hold select and down, and then bam reset you can uh change the button combination i'll get into that later on in this video uh game for uh, battle toads level two was all glitchy and stuff uh now with the uh new version it'll automatically update it with patches um from what i've seen you can add famicom disk system games to the console now some hacks have been working uh battle toads and double dragon was already working for me so i didn't really see any problems along that uh as far oh yeah thumbnails you can remove thumbnails now and pretty much oh yeah i did find out uh somebody down in the comments on one of my uh hack videos told me if you remove the uh, cover art, you can have up to 180 games, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so let's let's jump over to the PC side of things. A few moments later. All right, and we're back. Uh, as you can see, it still looks the same. It has added some features now. You got settings, which uh, you can change these at will you gotta use extended fonts the epilepsy protection you can disable that for the original 30 disable it for all games uh the button combination reset you can keep the uh, one that it comes with which is select and down at the same time or you can make it whatever combination you feel comfortable with uh, you can re remove thumbnails at the bottom and the 8-bit PGN or PNG compression, which is, uh, it makes the ROM size smaller. You lose quality, though. I haven't really seen a difference in it. So, I'm just fine with using that. Of course, you dump the Kimmel and all that still the same. Uh, in the menu now, you can select all games, unselect, uh, delete games. You could delete games from this menu before. The only thing that, that I see that they added with this version was to select and unselect all. When you go to add a game, it will automatically right here in the uh, players. It will either pick one player. If the game's one player or two players simultaneously, it will not select two player not simultaneously. Which I don't really have a problem with that. It's, I still like the feature. As you can see right here in this, this is the Game Genie code. Uh, it will only work for the game you put it on. So if you prefer to have the Game Genie codes on a certain game, you can add them. When you go to add a game, like I said, with Battletoads. Oh, that's not Battletoads. With like Battletoads, it'll ask you if you want to add the patches. Or you can click... Uh, Shift plus F, uh, Shift plus F5, and it will automatically update the ROMs. You can do that whenever. As long as you're in this, and that's Shift plus F5. Uh, oh yeah, another cool thing. With the original 30, now you can select and pick which ones you want to add to the console. Keep the ones you want. I have uh, found out if you remove a ROM and then want to add it back later, it does have your save states. So if you're worried about losing a save state, you're good. Uh, let me think about anything else. 
Uh, I think I mentioned the Famicom disc games work on here as well. Uh, I've seen hacks that will work as well. Homebrews I've seen are working now. Um, I don't really think there's much of anything besides minor bug fixes. Uh, you can have the patches now. It'll automatically put the patches in. All nice features, but uh, hmm. Oh, uh, they did update the uh, Google search for the cover art, which is nice. I didn't really have a problem finding any covers for any of these, but uh, yeah. I guess I guess that's pretty much what the version two point ten brings. There might be some stuff I'm missing. I was just focused in on stuff that I was concerned about or not really too concerned about. Just some features I thought were nice that uh, the guy had added now. Uh, but if I find out anything else like Gun Knack, it still doesn't work. Uh, if I find out anything else on it, I will let y'all know. There still are um, games like Rad Racer 2. Where is it at? There it is. This game has something like an extra processor on the card itself, and they haven't been able to replicate it yet. It will still run the game, but the the graphics are glitched to hell and back. So uh, I'll be keeping my eye out for updates like that. Uh, just keep hitting, hitting the shift F5 and it'll keep updating ROMs and just testing them out, seeing whenever they're available or working properly. But uh, other than that, I'll, I'll have a link to this uh, Hakan, Hakuchi 2, the NES Pimp Tool 2.10. I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but a oh, well, link to that download will be in the description. Oh yeah. And talking about that, now when you go to install this one, what I did was uh, I just uninstalled the previous version completely and just installed this and everything works fine. Uh, you can save all your ROMs uh, for the folder so you ain't got to re-add uh, them to this program again, which I didn't do because I was being stupid when I did it, but oh well. I want to see out all the new features. But other than that, oh yeah, with the uh, Windows, Windows does not bother this program anymore. I didn't have to take off my smart screen filter like I had to do before. Uh, Windows will still ask when, when you run it the first time, it will ask you if you want to run this anyway. And then that's it. That's all I had to deal with with the program. But uh, if I hear anything else, I'll let y'all know. Uh, if you have any things that I might have missed, uh, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, check out my Facebook page, Sir Fits You Gaming. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next one.